Good day, my ranked demons. Today I've been challenged by you with the impossible task of recovering mental. Many of us struggle with dealing with the hellscape that is Valorant. Toxic teammates, smurfs, trolls, that one dude who won't stop talking, and worst of all, our own judgment. In this video, I'm going to cover five ways to maneuver about when you're faced with a declining mental, specifically avoiding generic device like take a deep breath and sleep more. Number one, admit your feeling and move forward. You wanted to hit that shot, but you didn't. You'll have another chance next round, so don't beat yourself up about it. Bad plays don't make a bad player. Bad games don't make a bad player. Understand that the best players you're so fond of also aren't perfect, including yours truly. Number two, set clear expectations of how you want to treat your games. Today, I'm gonna play to practice. Whether I win or lose, have headless teammates, or play at my worst. I'm still going to warm up, cue, and do my best, because that's all I can ask of me. Numero trace. The last of human freedoms is to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. You can get upset at others for not swinging or calming the whole game, but it's a choice. You choose to be tilted in the same way you can choose to laugh it up and accept that this is just a part of the game. Empower yourself with that choice. Numero cat. Let numbers be numbers, not conclusions. Most players want to be at the top of the scoreboard, top of the ranks, have perfect tracker scores, but the more we conclude that these numbers are the definition of a good player, smurf, I couldn't have done more, or even bad player, the more it can affect our mental. Plainly put, these numbers we obsess over are not the definitions of our character, rather the result of a silent journey. Boys, if you're enjoying the content and interested in getting yourself some nice benefits while also supporting this channel, you can click on the link in the description where we have three options all with the help you might be looking for. Thank you so much and enjoy the video. Last but not least, an addictive mind tries to find a flawless solution. As someone who personally struggled with this, I want to say social media barely helped me start climbing through the ranks. I didn't become a top player when I practiced the perfect aim routine or started playing only S tier agents. Only when I was critically reviewed in a VOD review, I saw how simple and silly my mistakes were. That's when doing something became so much easier because I learned my mistakes and ways to improve them. So I ask, set yourself an hour this week to watch back one of your games and assess it. If you're confused how, watch this video on VOD review. But that's going to be it from your transparent coach. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and stay safe out there.